en passant, smothered mate, stalemate, these are all terms used constantly in chess that depict certain plays, moves, or positions. You might hear them all the time from your favorite creators, but never actually know what all of these mean. You might know some of them, but in this video, I will be explaining all the chess terms you need to know before playing chess. Let's begin. Patzer. Picture a Patzer as the lovable underdog of chess. It refers to a player who is not very skilled or experienced. Hey, we all start somewhere, right? So don't worry if you're a Patzer right now. With practice and dedication, you'll soon rise to the ranks. Jadoub. The fancy French term. Jadoub means I adjust and is used when a player wants to adjust a piece without making a move, since in many tournaments there is a touch move rule, where if you touch a piece, you must move it if it has a legal move. So this term breaks that law. Just remember, don't jadoop too much, or your opponent might get suspicious. Stalemate Stalemate is a tricky situation where it's your opponent's turn to move, but their king isn't in check, and they have no legal moves available. In stalemate, the game ends in a draw and nobody wins. It's a clever way to escape defeat. In this example, the white piece moves his queen. For black, his king is not in check and cannot move to any other square legally, and he cannot move any of his pawns as well as they are blocked by his opponent's pawns. This results in a draw due to stalemate. Castling Castling is a special move that allows the king to move two squares towards a rook and then place the rook on the other side of the king. Castling is a smart move to put your king to safety. You have short castling or kingside castling, and you have long castling or queenside castling. En passant en passant is a special move that allows you to diagonally capture your opponent's pawn with your pawn after it makes two moves forward from its starting position and lands right next to your pawn. If that sounds confusing, let me explain. Let's say that a player moves their pawn two squares forward from its starting position. If an opponent's pawn is on the square next to the player's pawn, the opponent's pawn can capture the player's pawn en passant or in passing. It's like surprising your opponent with a hidden trapdoor and swiftly snatching their pawn away. Next, we have en prise. It is a French expression used in chess to describe the state of a piece under attack in which the opponent can take with a material gain. A piece is not en prise if it can be captured but within a material trade play. So remember, a piece is only en prise if it can be captured and give a material advantage to the opponent. Fianchetto Fianchetto involves developing your bishop by placing it on the second rank of a neighboring pawn, creating a diagonal path. It's like giving your bishop a cozy corner seat with a splendid view. A gambit Think Queen's Gambit or King's Gambit or any opening that has Gambit in its name. A Gambit is a type of opening where you sacrifice a pawn or even a piece to gain a strategic advantage. It's like throwing a shiny bait to lure your opponent into a trap. Minor Pieces Minor Pieces refers to the Bishop and the Knight and similarly, Major Pieces refers to the Rooks and Queen. Tempo Tempo refers to gaining an extra move or maintaining an advantageous position. It's like being a step ahead of your opponent in a thrilling chase. Every move counts in chess, so make sure to utilize your tempo wisely to keep the pressure on your opponent. Flagging Flagging in chess refers to the act of winning or drawing a game on time. Flagging is more usual in blitz and bullet games, since players often get in time trouble and faster time controls. The term flagging comes from the analog chess clocks that have flags in their displays that fall whenever a player runs out of time. Pass pawns A pass pawn is a pawn that has no opponent's pawns on its adjacent files and has a clear path to promotion. Absolute pin Imagine a piece being stuck in place unable to move. That is an absolute pin. It occurs when a piece is pinned to the king and it's not allowed to move because doing so would expose the king to check. Absolute pins can be devastating for the pinned piece and can be exploited by the opponent. However, not all pins are created equal. A relative pin occurs when a pinned piece is not pinned to the king. In this case, the pinned piece can still move, but doing so would expose a more valuable piece behind it. Relative pins offer tactical opportunities and force your opponent to think twice before making a move. Alekhine's gun Alekhine's gun refers to a strategic formation where two rooks are lined up behind each other on the same file, with the queen in front of them. Mating net This occurs when your pieces, and in some cases, also your opponent's pieces, are preventing their king from escaping an inevitable checkmate. Backrank checkmate Backrank checkmate occurs when the opponent's king is trapped on the backrank with no escape and is checkmated by a rook or a queen. This is an example. Skewer A skewer is one of the best tactics of chess. It consists of taking advantage of aligned pieces to gain a material, or, in some cases, a strategic edge against the other player, which is basically attacking a piece that is behind another one, which is often less valuable, but still give an advantage to the attacker. Octopus The term octopus refers to a knight placed on the fifth rank, giving him control on eight squares on the board in an octopus-like shape. Smothered mate A suffocating defeat a smothered mate occurs when the opponent's king is surrounded by its own pieces and is checkmated by a knight. Smothered mates are stunning and often catch the opponent by surprise. Book move 
A book move refers to a move that has been studied and documented extensively in chess literature. It's like following a well-known recipe for success. Book moves provide a solid foundation for beginners and can help you navigate the early stages of the game with confidence. Fork A fork, just like the one you use daily, is a devious tactical move where one piece attacks two or more enemy pieces simultaneously. The most common fork happens at the start of the game, where the knight forks the king and rook. We all fell for this trap. No need to be ashamed. Discover check a discovered check occurs when a piece moves, revealing a check from another piece behind it. It's like pulling off a magic trick. This move can lead to some great material loss, forcing the player to move his king while you can capture a valuable piece, giving you a big advantage. And finally, we have the term hanging. Hanging refers to a piece that is unprotected and can be captured by the opponent easily. Hope you enjoyed watching this video and make sure you subscribe for more.